Yo ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to smooth the face of this model, remove all the pimples, and make the face very nice by using frequency separation. Um, we're going to do it without losing the texture on the face. First of all, you need to duplicate the picture by hitting on Ctrl plus J on the keyboard. Go to your tool and choose your patch healing tool to remove all the pimples on the face. Circle it. Take it to another direction. Circle on it. Take it to another direction. Circle on it. Take it to different direction. Circle it. Take it to a direction that has no pimples. So be circle and push it to direction that does not have a pimples. That's what we are doing. So we are removing all the pimples on the forehead. We are removing all the pimples on the forehead. You need to take your time when they are removing pimples on the face. Just circle on it. You remove it. Circle on it. So we are almost done. We you need to take your time when you're removing pimples. On the, on the picture so we are removing all the pimples on the face so let's come to the body Continue removing. Just circle on it and push it to a direction that is smooth. We are doing it this way so that we don't lose any texture. So that we don't lose any texture. So now, this was then, and now, uh, hit on control D to deselect. Now what we'll do next is uh, create another layer by holding on layer 1 and drag it to the plus button here. Name the top layer, texture, and name the down layer, color. color make sure to uncheck the texture layer which is the top one and select the color layer come to filter choose blur come to Gaussian blur bring the radius down to 0 0.1 look for a part of the face that has a lot of texture so what we do that has a lot of texture. So I think the chin, the chin has a lot of texture. 
but even the forehead has a lot of chest as well. And bring it up. Bring it up till we don't see the texture again. So I'll put nine on it. The texture is not seen anymore. Oh, six. Yes, six is okay. It's okay. Now bring back the top layer, which is the texture. Go to image. I'm going to blend it. Go to apply image. The layer is merged. The layer is merged. So drop down and choose color. Make sure the RGB is selected. GB is selected. Blending mode from normal to subtract the opacity should be 100. The scale is always 2 for 8 bit picture, and the offset is 1 to 1 to 8. Make sure you hit 1 to 8. Invert button should be unchecked and preview bottom should be checked here you hit okay now we come to the blending mode here drop from normal to linear light now we hold control on the keyboard and click the two and drag it to the folder here rename the folder i will give it skin and give it any name drop down come to the brush tool here choose your mixture brush make sure you choose clean brush load clean the brush after each stroke make sure it's checked the width should be 10 mm, load 75 remember mixture 90 and flow should be 100 so we uncheck the top layer here and select the color layer we choose our brush make sure the hardness is zero is soft run brush and you can choose any size that you want but make sure it's not all that big so now we are going to paint from the direction of the face. So you can see the direction of the face we paint on it. We paint or we brush on the face nicely. We brush on the face. Make sure we do it nice. Take your time and do it. Don't rush. Do it the direction of the face. Yeah. Take your time and do it. There's no rush in painting this. We will take your time. In case you do any mistake, you can hit on Control Z to go back. We 
Spin to the freeze. Bring the face. Bring the face gradually. So you can see as we pin the face, you can see the face is gradually becoming smooth. So we paint the face very nicely. come to the body do it very nicely So you can see then and now. We are not done, so we hold on the color button and select our lasso tool and the make selection of the face. selection on the freeze go back to filter choose blur and choose Gaussian blur we chose six one set so we multiply it by six again which will be 18 so 18 is selected we come to the chain and we select give it 18 and come to this side select give it 18 come to the nose give it 18 uh, here you can see mostly the nose will become flat so we right click and choose fade Gaussian blur we are going to fade it to 50 so that the nose will not be flat we come to the body choose blur we choose the body again a bit we are doing it this way because we don't want the body to be flat. So with this way you have to choose each part. So we give it gash and blur. So ladies and gentlemen, you can see before and now. We are not done yet. 
what we'll do now we duplicate the background layer now we merge the files and uh, we'll convert to smart objects we'll come to filter choose camera or filter now what we'll do is sharpen the picture Having the picture, reduce the lines here to 13. And uh, we come to our basis, bring down our texture and uh, take up clarity let's go bring up the contract small the exposure should be up a little yeah so now our blacks bring it up so bring it down small so now we hit OK. So this was then. And now you can see the picture look more sharp. And we've not lost any texture in the face. You can see it. very, very nice picture. Yeah. So in case uh, you love this video make sure to give a subscribe hit on the subscribe button push the share comment below uh, so that will be recommended to more people and also get motivated to bring you more of this tutorial thanks for watching